Hey guys, Movie Fan here. As promised, I'm going to show you how I made my Power Rangers holster. First, you're going to need the following supplies. White duct tape, a black marker, a pair of scissors, and I would also suggest getting yourself a blade blaster. That is, if you don't already have one. Now that we got our supplies, let's begin. We start by pulling out some duct tape and cutting it into roughly the same length. We place it on the table, sticky side down. We cut more strips of duct tape off and place it on the table. Be sure to overlap the duct tape that you cut onto the duct tape that's on the table. Therefore, it'll stay together, and you could widen it as much as you like. Now that we've got ourselves a flat sheet, we're going to peel it off, flip it over, and now we're going to make another flat sheet. Why the second flat sheet of duct tape? Well, it's quite simple, really. I'm doing this just so we don't have the sticky side on the inside or the outside of the holster. That way it'll all be one smooth object. I prefer to get the individual strips and just place it on the sticky side and flatten it out as I go. But if you want to just make a flat surface and then put it all together, that's up to you. Now that we got one smooth flat sheet, I'm just going to trim the edges so they're nice and square. Now we get our blade blaster and we try to measure out exactly how we want the cone shape to be. Obviously, we want a good part of the handle sticking out, and we want a little bit of the tip sticking out of the bottom. I'll be honest, before I got my blade blaster, I managed to make the holster without it, but the blade blaster does help to get it the precise measurement that you want, so I do recommend doing it this way rather than eyeballing it like I first did. Now that I got the cone shape exactly the way I want it, I just keep it rolled together and tape down the flap, both inside and out. Since you've rolled it into a cone, you might have to trim down the top and bottom edge. That way it gives it a nice, smooth, even look. But that's okay. It's not a problem. All right, now we got the main part of the holster that holds the blaster. So now we make the belt loop. We use the same method that we did before in making the holster itself by cutting strips of duct tape and laying it on the table. I find that two or three strips is the best way to do this. That way it's nice and wide and nice and long. For this to work, you definitely need to make these strips a little longer. You can always trim them down if you need to. And don't forget, make a flat sheet on one side and cover the sticky side with another flat sheet. Trim the edges and we fit it to the holster the way we like it. When we got it just the way we want it, we duct tape the belt loop to the holster. I would recommend starting on the inside first. Be sure you get every edge in there. That way it'll stay nice and sturdy. Now we tape the outside and now we finish it off with a little decoration. Just grab your trusty black marker and trace the black lines that are on the holster. One at the very tip, one at the very top. I recommend tracing it all the way around, front and back. That way it'll look really awesome. I also like to put two lines right on the belt loop to give it that little extra flair. But that's entirely up to you if you want to do that. And there you have your very own Power Rangers holster. So if you're like me and you want to have a holster for your Power Rangers costume when you go to your next Comic-Con, I suggest you do it this way. It's a lot of fun. It's really easy. And except for the Blade Blaster, it's actually pretty cheap. To all you Power Rangers fans that have always wanted a holster for your Blade Blaster, I hope this was really helpful. This is Movie Fan, signing off.